have made it to the Texas Quilt Museum. It was a two hour drive from San Antonio. The roads were not bad at all. Well, the roads are bad, the traffic wasn't bad. So it is $10 admission and I'm going to double check their recording policy and take you guys along. Let's go. Before we get into it, I asked if I was allowed to record inside the building and they gave me the go ahead. I asked if I could record them giving me the speech and they said yes. I really put them on the spot, but they did an amazing job explaining the history of the building, the history of the quilt museum, and all of the exhibits that they have to offer. So this building was made in 1892. It was originally a furniture store and it was a furniture store for quite a long time and then it became J.C. Penney catalog was over here and a antique mall. Floors were made out of one leaf pine and so are the columns. It's all original. They painted it baby blue. There's still a little bit of baby blue up there, sort of, you can see it, sort of. I mean, our founders, our founders just happened to walk by and look in the window. Carrie Bresenhan and her cousin, Nancy O'Brien Puentes and their cousins, and they, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, they own the Houston International Quilt Festival. And they made, found the building in 2010, and they started finishing it, and it took them a year to do, and we opened in 2011. This is the original picture from the furniture time. They called it a furniture, uh, the furniture store was from cradle to grave because you could buy a cradle and you could also buy a casket and everything in between. So in the <coughs> archway back over this way, we have the Pierce Memorial Library and we have the Colville collection of um, Toile de, de Jour uh, and chintz fabrics of the 17 and 1800s. We're the largest um, research library in the Southwest for fabric and textiles. Right now, our exhibits are K Facet 85 and Fabulous. These are all K fabrics. He's known for the really big prints, flower prints, and that kind of thing. As the winners of the Houston International Quilt Festival, we're the first ones to get to see them after the festival. The reason that Carrie and Nancy wanted a place was to show the, the quilts after more than just a few days. So that's how come she... And that works out for me because yeah. I couldn't make it to the festival. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. And other people are like that too. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you just can't go. And Gallery 3 is, is an exhibit of um, SACWA, which is... Studio, Studio Art Quilters Association and they're two feet by four feet and they're in graded colors from goes from chartreuse all the way around to all the other greens, blues, purples, reds, and then back to yellow. So it's really an amazing thing. Back over this way on the other side of the wall mm -hmm. is an 18 foot mural of a lot of quilts. You start right here, go down this wall, and then go down that wall. How are you? And there's a little bit of information about each quilt. Okay. That's beautiful. And what do you see the back? That's the reason I've got gloves on. Wow.
Come take a peek and you can come back. You're not gonna believe it. You know, I bet you all worked here, I don't know how long, and didn't even know this dang thing was back here. And I don't let anybody leave now without coming back here. See, these are all the samples she was talking about from everywhere. from 1775 to 1875. I am not going to be able to get video of everything in here, but these cabinets are full of super old antique textiles. There is so much stuff here, so much more stuff here than I thought that there would be.